Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to record multiple tracks live on the Vortex Wireless 2 into Ableton Live Lite. First, open the Vortex Editor and set up the pads to change the virtual instrument MIDI tracks. Change the pad type to CC Momentary and release to 127. Then send the preset to your Vortex. Now open Ableton Live or Ableton Live Lite. Click on Instrument Rack in the Instruments section of the Collections pane at the left side of the screen and add a virtual instrument to each MIDI track by dragging a virtual instrument to each MIDI track. Next, right mouse click on one of the arm buttons at the bottom of one of the MIDI tracks. If there is no tick to the left of the words, arm exclusive on the pop-up menu, click on the words arm exclusive so a tick appears to the left of the words arm exclusive. Now, when you click on the arm button, only that track will be armed and recordable and all the other tracks will be unarmed. Now click on the MIDI icon at the top right of the Ableton window. So all the MIDI controllable controls are highlighted blue and MIDI Learn is turned on. Now click on the arm button of one of the virtual instrument MIDI tracks. Then tap on a pad on the Vortex that you set up as CC Momentary. Now tap on the arm button of the next virtual instrument MIDI track and tap on a different pad. When you've done this to all the virtual instrument MIDI tracks, Click on the MIDI icon at the top right of the Ableton window again to unhighlight the MIDI controls and turn off MIDI Learn. Now, when you press on the pads, the virtual instrument MIDI track that is armed to record should change. Now that the pads are set up, we can live record across multi virtual instrument tracks in Ableton. Click on the Arrangement View Selector icon at the top right of the Ableton window that looks like three horizontal lines. Then click on the Stop button at the top of the Ableton window two times to make sure the recording will start at the beginning of the song. Then click on the Record button to the right of the Stop button and start playing the Vortex, pressing the pads to change virtual instruments. Then click the stop button to stop recording. The individual virtual instrument MIDI tracks can now be edited, including changing the volume, adding effects, or even changing the individual virtual instruments themselves. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.